right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to chop up our pecans and get them ready. Now, I do buy chopped pecans at the store, but they're never chopped quite enough for my liking, so I'm just going to give them a little bit more of a chopping. You can do this in the food processor or the blender, but I'm just going to do it on the cutting board the old-fashioned way with a knife. like say this one here and you try to put that in your pie crust and you go to take a bite of it you're gonna have this great big pecan in your mouth so we're going to just make them a little bit smaller and easier to eat and it mixes into the crust better too when they're a little bit finer this is a crust that my mom used to make with her cherry no bake dessert we always called it cherry crunch and she always put pecans in the crust, and it was a family favorite recipe. So I've kind of stolen this crust from my mother. Or I guess I should say I've carried the tradition of this crust on from my mom. We just do a little bit more. We've got those chopped up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and mix up our basic crust and it's really only two ingredients. We're going to mix one and a half cups flour. Now you can mix this up with a mixer too, but I just choose to do it by hand because it's so simple. And then we're going to put in 12 tablespoons of melted butter. Salted butter too. Give it a little bit more flavor with the salted. We're just going to mix that up. And once we have it mixed up, it's going to be, you know, pretty clumpy. We're going to go ahead and just take our pecans and put right into the crust. And we're going to mix it up good. Now I did have, I put this crust in a casserole dish because it's big enough to fit a casserole dish. But I did have an interesting comment from a reader the other day. This is my number one crust on my blog. And um, she said that she buys two already made pie crusts and then she just takes the chopped pecans and presses them into the crust. No mixing, no chopping, nothing required. That's a really simple solution if you don't feel like making a homemade crust. Because sometimes you just don't feel like it. You're just going to kind of mix those pecans in. And they may be a little crumbly in the crust. And that's okay because we're going to press it into the pan so they'll get pressed in really well to the crust. Now you could probably do two pie plates with this crust. But I'm going to do a big casserole dish because I'm going to be making a blueberry no-bake dessert with this. So I'm going to use a 9 by 13. No need to grease it. Just go ahead and put your crust into the pan. And then you'll just press it in. It's really easy. You go up the sides just a little bit, maybe half an inch to an inch, but mostly it'll be on the bottom of the pan. But I usually do like to press it up the sides just a little bit, especially when I know I'm going to put a creamy no-bake filling inside of it. some places that are thinner you can take pieces of crust and just move them to those spots and kind of fill in as you need to. I love that you don't have to roll this crust. I think that's why it's so popular because it's only three ingredients and you don't have to do any rolling. There's no huge mess with it. It's really easy. And it tastes really good too. You could also make it without pecans. I don't think it would be quite the same, but it would still be a really good crust. 
even without the cons. Now it is pressed into the pan and it is ready to go as you can see. And I'm going to pop this in the oven and bake it for about 20 to 30 minutes. You want to bake it until it starts to have just a hint of golden color around the edges. So now we have the finished pie crust. You're ready to fill it with whatever you want to fill it with. I usually fill it with our favorite no-bake dessert, a blueberry no-bake or a strawberry no-bake. So it's totally up to you. If you are making this with a regular pie where you're going to cook the filling, then you can wait and cook the crust with the pie filling. But now I'm ready to fill this with my favorite blueberry dessert.